Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Inquisition. Last time, we had leveling up to up and gearing up to up and then haven up to up. <laughs> Don't know what that means. But we're here. We're back in haven. And I did level up and I did gear up. As you can see, I'm looking. Oh, oh, didn't mean to do that. Looking fabulous. And the rest of my team looks just as good. So I figured we'd take time right now to go around and talk to everyone because we need to do that. And then go do some of the missions up in uh, my little base. But uh, first, let's go see what's going on with my peoples. Ooh, Krem. What up? What can I do for you? That's a very good question. Let's discuss Iron Bull. I'd like to know more about the Iron Bull. The chief. First time I met him, he saved my life. I never thought I'd work for a Canary, but he grows on you. He's not like any commander I've ever worked for. That's for damn sure. What kind of commander is he? How's Iron Bull as a commander? If you know what you're doing and hold up your end, he's easy. He doesn't accept any less. If he keeps us alive, he leads from the front, and if you've an idea that'll win the fight, he listens. I've seen bands whose captains had to prove they were swinging the biggest sword. Bull isn't like that. The charges might give him more lip than you'd expect, but every one of us would lay down our lives for the big ass. So how did you end up with him? How did a Tevinter soldier wind up in a Kunari spy's mercenary company? I wasn't a soldier at the time. I was in some trouble, trying to flee Tevinter. A Tribune and his men caught me in a border town tavern. They meant to make an example of me. Bull killed them. Gave up his eye doing it. Patched me up and asked if I was looking for work. I've been putting up with his jokes ever since. Whoa, whoa, he gave up his eye? That's how he lost the eye? Yes. The guards had me on the tavern floor when Bull came inside and yelled for them to stop. One of them saw trouble coming and figured he'd finish me off. The guard had a flair. Bull put himself between me and the blow. They can't, idiot. Didn't even know me. Damn, that guy's a badass. I knew I liked him. I knew I liked him when I picked him. So, is it odd being around him? Is it strange to work for a Canari? He hasn't tried to convert us to the Kuhn, if that's what you're asking. Bull's charges don't care who you light a candle for, so long as your shield stays up. If he hadn't told me he was Ben Hasroth, I'd have thought he'd left that life behind. Does he tell everyone he's a spy? Like, is, is that his thing? Like, hey, you know, I'm a spy. I'm starting to doubt his spyness. I feel like that is a clever ruse to get some ye olden uh, ye action, if you know what I mean. I didn't expect he'd tell you all that he was a spy. Not the whole band, but those who've been around long enough to trust. He figures most of us would find out sooner or later, and it should come from him. Eyes to eye, he says. It's never messed up a job. He just writes letters back home. Lots of the boys write letters back home. Actually, now that I think about it, James Bond. Everyone knows James Bond's a spy. Everyone. Even the villains are like, oh, the illustrious James Bond. Everyone knows 007, and he's supposed to be a super spy. So I guess technically it could work. We'll talk later. I mean, I now have James Bond on my team. Iron Bull, are, are you James Bond? They've got good form. Cullen's putting his Templar training to good use. Oh, what about the Templars? How'd you know he's a Templar? Did Cullen tell you he was a Templar? He's not wearing the armor. He didn't have to. Might not be a Templar shield, but it's a Templar holding it. He angles the shield just a bit down. Helps direct fire or acid away, so it doesn't spray right into your face. Canari learned the same thing when we trained to fight to Vinter Mages. Your Templar's doing good work. So that's why he's so damn handsome. Note to self, Jesse. Avoid acid and fire spray to the face. Hold your shield down. Uh, you could always help. Yeah, sure. You sound like you want to head down there and give the troops some pointers. Nah, I'm no good at command unless I know who my guys are sleeping with and what they like to drink. Inquisition's already too large for that. The charges are big enough for me. Biggest problem for the Inquisition right now isn't on the front lines. It's at the top. You've got no leader. No Inquisitor. Hmm. Liliana isn't our leader. Cassandra's definitely not our leader. Um. I don't think I'm the... I mean, I know eventually I'll be the leader. That's the whole point of a game like this, right? But, let me just say... If I say this, he's going to be like, you're an asshole. No one says, I'm going to say this. Do we need one? 
The Inquisition has done all right so far without an Inquisitor. That's because all we've needed so far is damage control. Reaction. A group can handle that. Once you've sealed the breach, it's gonna be time to make decisions. Someone's gonna have to step up. Ah, who knows? Maybe you sealed the breach. The Chantry gets off its ass and all those soldiers go home and get fat. It could happen. I think it could happen. See? It won't. But it but could. It exactly. All right. Iron Bull continuing to be awesome. Okay, so I think... Ooh, Blackwell has a quest over here? What up? Yeah. Hello. Make a look at it. So much easier to ignore when it's far away. And to actually walk out of it. To be that close. Hmm. You could get closer. No, I'm gonna say I was lucky. If I hadn't been saved by Inquisition soldiers, I don't know what would have happened. Inquisition soldiers? That's not what I've heard. The Breach, the Divine's death, the Wardens. It doesn't make sense. There's so much we don't know. I'm not gonna be a dick and be like, it's we already? No, uh, just follow, yeah, I'm gonna say your help will be invaluable. Hmm. Maybe just follow our lead, but I don't know where we're leading. Uh, none of these, ah, uh, none of these are good answers. I'm trying to be smooth, Nicholas Mage would be smooth. Um, your help will be invaluable? Your experience with the Wardens will certainly be useful. Mostly the treaties, I expect. Old parchments you're welcome to. What about you? How do you fit into all this? So, some worship me, like that. Hmm. I want peace? I'm not sure yet. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm not sure yet. It's been a whirlwind. It's hard to say where I fit. I guess we'll have to figure that out. For me, I'll be satisfied so long as we find the bastards that killed the Divine. They owe us some answers. Oh, okay, well. Oh wait, no, he still has his quest. Hold on, Blackwall, hold on, you got a quest for me, bro. Uh, uh, stuck on boxes. I've heard rumors of abandoned warden camps all over these parts. If we have time, I'd like to take a look, see if there's anything we can salvage. Yes, all right, yeah, I investigate. Talking about the Wardens? I mean, I know about the Wardens. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about you. Um, we already kind of know what he thinks about the Inquisition. Let's do this. I want to hear more about you. <laughs> Compared to yours, my life will seem dull indeed. No, 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 no. You weren't always a Warden. What did you do before you became a Warden? I was a soldier. A, a nobody trained to wield a sword and follow orders. I grew weary of fighting other men's wars. So you became a warden, more or less. Becoming a Grey Warden was the first time I felt like I mattered. The life I led before seems hollow in comparison. Perhaps one day it will fade away. Huh. Okay. Where are you from? Why'd you become a warden? Uh, I think we have kind of an answer to that. Yeah, where are you from? Your name Blackwall doesn't sound or lesion. Marcher then? Ferelden? I was from the Free Marches originally. Markham. That was a long time ago. Another life. So you have a past. Uh, why'd you become a warden? Uh, he doesn't want to talk about it, so we won't push. Why did you join the wardens? Because they remember honor and sacrifice. Words that have little meaning to the rest of us. Because they lay down their lives for those they have sworn to protect. We all need to believe there are such men in the world. I needed to believe I could be one of them. Huh. Dude's a badass. Dude's an old badass. We can continue this discussion at another time. Very well. Damn, okay. So, in all the areas of the world, there are now more things to do. Great. Just peachy. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Colin and Cassie. First, let's go over and talk to the future Mrs. Nick Mage. To me, I don't actually know much about you. Go on. What do you want to know? I'm not sure. Where are you from? Uh, well, I have to be honest with her. That's that's the foundation of every good relationship, is honesty. That's my tip for you, Internet. The Circle of Magi at Ostwick, at least until the rebellion began. Yes, I suppose that 
would have required you to stay on the move. Tell me, do you consider the free march as your home? Are you eager to go back? Mm. I hated it. Eventually, perhaps. Home is wherever I Oh, that's a good answer. Home's wherever I am, baby. Wherever I am is home enough for me. Yeah. That's how I feel now. After years of tending to business for the divine. Oh, okay. Let's push. Let's push a little further. Let's delve a little deeper. Hmm. Tell me about yourself. I'd like to get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. I'm just curious as to your motivation. Oh, I like us to be close. All right, all right, all right. Think, think, Cox. Think. We want, we want her to fall in love. Saying this, we literally—it's literally been just a few days, maybe a week or so. Doing this now is creepy. It's borderline creepy. Uh, suspicious, aren't you? Is kind of douchey. Just tell me, is super douchey. Just being friendly, baby. Just being friendly. No motivation beyond. Me. Yeah. Less. Antagonistic. Exactly. <sighs> As you wish. My name is Cassandra Pentecost, daughter of the Royal House of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. I joined the Seekers of Truth as a young woman, and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lord. Hmm. You're Navarran royalty? Let's do this. You're a member of Navarra's royal family. The Pentagasts are a very large clan. Half of Cumberland could say the same. Really? No, but it feels that way. I have hundreds of relatives so distant they need charts to prove we're related at all. And they have them. Oh, yes. The Pentagasts value their precious blood like it runs with gold. Is that why you left? <laughs> so you're not on good terms? Yeah, is that why you left? And you joined the Seekers to get away from that. It was a life worth getting away from. The Pentagasts are famed for dragon hunting, but few actually pursue the craft. Most are fat and lazy. They pay lip service to the Maker and care only for idle pleasures and past glories. My brother was all that kept me in Navarra. Once he was gone, so was I. Mm. Do I want to pry? Oh, I don't want to pry. What happened to your brother? Well, obviously he's dead. Uh, let me switch the subject. You work for the divine? Yeah. So you were the right hand to the divine. To divine Justinia, yes. And divine Beatrix before her, in fact. The position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine. But my circumstances were unusual. Unusual how? You don't know the story? Thank the Maker. I will tell you if you wish, but it isn't as exciting as some drum it up to be. The short version is that I once saved the previous Divine's life. My reward was becoming her right hand. Mm -hmm. Do want to pry into this too? This is a, look, this is a complicated woman. This is a... <laughs> I feel like everything I ask her is going to make her hate me. Brother touchy subject. She doesn't really want to talk about how she became the right hand. Her home, she's not a fan of that. Oh my goodness. Um, what is a right hand exactly? But what does a right hand do exactly? What is your hand capable of? It gives, it takes, it beckons. It makes a fist. Liliana and I extended the divine's reach beyond the Grand Cathedral. We went where she could not. After Beatrix, I was tired of the position and wanted to return to the Seekers. But Justinia convinced me to stay. Her vision for the future gave me hope. Mm. I believed in her. You thought she could really change things? Justinia knew the war was coming long before it began. She tried to avert it, but the forces arrayed against her were too strong. Sometimes you have to break a bone so it can be reset. That's where the Inquisition comes in. It was to be the answer. A means to preserve as well as an agent for change. I only wish she had lived to see it. Alright. I'm interested in this story. 
The other two I can live without knowing. But uh, I want to know this one. So what's the story about you becoming the right hand? Sweet Andras says you really want to hear that. <laughs> I do! It was, what, 18, 20 years ago? Some still discuss it like it happened yesterday. The tale gets bigger each time it's told. I barely recognize myself within it now. That's how stories work. Let me see here. So what happened? Yeah. I don't know if I want to be like, so, you know, that's how it works. So get over it. Being modest, I don't think she she would ever accept that. That's She's Miss Modest. Um, so what happened? You're stalling. To hear others tell it. I alone saved Divine Beatrix from a horde of dragons sent to assault the Grand Cathedral. Rather impressive for such a young seeker, wouldn't you say? And the truth is? I stumbled upon a conspiracy to kill Beatrix. A Templar Knight Commander was at its heart. And there was a dragon battle at the Grand Cathedral. But I had help from loyal mages who rallied to the cause. They freed the dragons from magical control. Without them, the Divine and I would both have died. Yet I became the right hand, and they are forgotten. <laughs> oh no! You're delightful. What became of the mages? Impressive. You're still a hero. Typical of the Chantry. Mm. Yeah, let's ask, what became of the mages? What happened to the mages that helped you? They went back to their circles, with rewards and privileges and most holy gratitude. Many of them died at the conflict. <laughs> I can't I can't say this now. You're delightful. Nope. Nope. She's a hard one to crack. But you don't do it through kindness. You do it through like a bond. A bond of of battle. She's you look, look. She's my Brienne of Tarth. I just gotta I just gotta get on her level. I gotta get on her level. You're still a hero. You're still a hero. I think you're a hero no matter how you downplay it. Fine. But it was 20 years ago. See? I will not rest upon my laurels. Mm, all right. That's all for now. I'm de de definitely... I'll let you get back to work. What a what a weird moment. Like, what a weird moment to flirt. Like, you're, you're so delightful. The stories you tell. I'm not going to... That's not going to happen. Right, there's nothing over here. Except for Colin. Oh, I'm definitely flirting with Colin. You traveled some distance to reach Haven. You're from the Circle in Ostwick. Uh, should I still be locked up? Does it matter? Mm. Let's let's do uh this. It was. It's exciting, being away from that life, being somewhere new. Maybe that's selfish, given what's happened. No, it's only fair, I suppose. We are grateful for your assistance. <laughs> are you with anyone? Uh, <laughs> I mean, clearly I have to ask that. Um, anything I should know? Is there anything I should know? The Lord Seeker's actions are a mystery. The Templars will aid us. They cannot sit idle while the breach remains. Mm. I think we have sided with the mages. Uh, I, I know I can still go to them, but I'm definitely down the mage path at this point, so we're not going to really bother with the Templars. Um, because they're assholes. All right, let's flirt. Did you leave anyone behind in Kirkwall? No. I fear I made few friends there, and my family's in Ferelden. No one special, heart <laughs> directed? I can't say I was looking. Honestly, I... I was not good company back then. What about now? You're not looking, are you? Mm. Mm. If I come at him again, if I come at him with super flirts, he's going to shoot me down. So I'm going to do this. I take it you're not looking now? Between the needs of the Inquisition and... Well, I can't say that I am. Damn it. Damn it. All right. Well, that's good to know. I'll flirt with you in the future when you're ready. When when you have other needs besides the needs of the Inquisition, if you know what I mean. All right, that's all. Uh, maybe investigate? Tell me about your Templar life. Tell me, I think I got those answers before. All right, that's all. 
That's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. I do. Mostly being. Running through the woods, pressing B, that's what I'll do. Uh oh, uh oh. What the hell? We got so much crap over here. That is a triple elf root. The, tr the, the infamous tri elf gamma maneuver. Sounds like. Sounds like something Sarah would do. Speaking of Sarah, where's she at? Hmm, let's go find her. And the rest of my crew, I guess I gotta. So yeah, I have the best of everything I can get right now without stuff to find. Uh, it doesn't show it on them until they're in my party, but everyone looks like a badass. Cassie looks like a super badass. Oh, Varric. What up, dude? Need something? Uh, I have a question about Hawk. I have a lot of questions about Hawk, actually, but... I've read your tale of what? the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. Look, Varric, I... <laughs> I know I'm famous, but there's no reason to go weak in the knees. <laughs> what is going on? All right, I think I've got... Have I literally gotten all the answers I can get out of him? Tell me about Red Lyrium. The Red Lyrium we found at the temple seemed to upset you. My brother Bartrand and I sort of discovered Red Lyrium during an expedition in the Deep Roads. We located an ancient taig, so old it barely looked dwarven. There was this idol there made of it. Bartrand brought it back to the surface, and, well, everything's gone downhill from there. Mm. Investigate. Why is it exactly? So what is it? Just another kind of lyrium? The red stuff is lyrium like a dragon is a lizard. It's not just a different color. It has a whole host of weirdness all its own. I've written to every mining cast house in Orzammar. No one's seen this stuff before or knows where it came from. Huh. Okay, um, what can it do? What makes it special? Regular lyrium can mess you up pretty badly, but you have to ingest it for that to happen. Red lyrium messes with your mind when you're just near the stuff. You hear singing, get violent, paranoid, and then it does creepy shit. Makes things float, brings statues to life. It also turned Kirkwall's night commander to lyrium. Everyone's been kept at least a hundred paces from it since. Yeah, but aren't dudes trying to get more of it right now? Isn't that something that's happening? How did the Red Lyrium get in the Temple of Sacred Ashes? I don't know. So as far as I knew, the only piece to make it to the surface was destroyed. And the location of the Taig it came from is a secret. Did someone find more of it in the Deep Roads? That's not a cheery thought. No, agreed. Very much agreed. That's it for now. I think that's enough on Red Lyrium. Yeah, not really my favorite subject. Ooh. Well, now we've got now we've got quests. Great. Okay. More quests. Um hmm. it's this way. Whoop. Sarah! Oh yeah. Anyone oh seems to be a good man. Yeah. He'll be an asset if we have to fight dogs. Look, I wasn't paying any attention. They already wrote a song about Sarah? Lady, lady. I don't think you understand this. They already have Bard singing about Sarah? She just got here. Already. Where's my song? There once was a man who was called Nick Mage. He stared at me and I felt real strange. So I wrote the song to say I love him just like everyone else. That was a shitty song. No wonder none exist about me. You don't need to fear magic. Magic can be dangerous, but it's just a tool like any other. Exactly. I've always said that. Like hammer or sword. Okay, so come 
How do you know, Liliana? You said Liliana asked you to run an Inquisition tavern. How did you meet? Huh. All right. Well, thanks. Farewell. Goodbye. Oh, songs collected. Sarah, what is going on? You got songs about you already? So, this is it, huh? Oh, no, it's fine, yeah? It's just, I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> Hear that? I meant the stronghold, but oh. it sounded like... Yeah, no, I gotcha. Well, it's funny, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, stopping wars should earn more sovereigns than this. Need things back to normal for coins to be flowing again. Another reason the Templars and Mages need to be sat down. Mm, the Conclave tried and failed. I'm pretty sure the Conclave proved it's not that easy. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> Why? Because someone yelled it real loud. Make them prove it. They're too busy to look up where the real questions are. Hmm. You think it should be easy? What questions are those? Hmm. Right. They should know it's a simple job. End all war, stitch the sky. The easy one first, of course. <laughs> You're daft, yeah? <laughs> Most people get special. They lose their snark. Can't see how stupid it all is. I think I like you, Lord Herald. Maybe you're a little chosen, yeah? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! She's crazy, though. This girl, look, you gotta know who you're talking to. She's crazy. If I'm like, I think I like you too, she's gonna be like, whoa, slow down, speedy pants. Sounds good to me. Huh. Let's uh, mm, mm, let's do this. I'm ready to give it a shot. That's all I can ask from anyone else. I'm in. Yeah. It's an investment, yeah. Better pay off too. Stupid war and everything. I had things to do. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> I like her. I like her a lot, guys. She's just as bonkers as anyone needs to be. All right. Chasing the Lord Seeker, I hear. Anyone who thinks they need Lord in front of the name, that's bad. Bet he's got a portrait taller than he is. That's your first clue to a total ass. Fact. <laughs> you don't fit the Inquisition. Oh, no. No, we're good. Tell me about your background. Tell me about your friends. <laughs> Carry on. Let's learn more about you. Tell me about yourself. What about me? Who trained you? Where you're from? Uh, how about the basics? Where are you from? Ferelden. I got that from the accent. Where in Ferelden? All over. Okay, fine. Denimrim for a bit. South, north, wherever I want. <laughs> I can make evasive jokes too. Oh, you're from wherever. I'm from north wherever. What? North wherever. <laughs> Oh, we had fun on street and or in local tavern. <laughs> ha hardy ha. Oh, funny you. It's complicated. I don't like complicated. Let's leave it at that. Maybe. Hmm, alright. I'm not gonna get any answers from her. We'll talk later. If you say so. Oh, I enjoyed our talk, though. I had fun with it. Alright. Let's go talk to... Speaking of having fun, let's go talk to Liliana. The queen of fun. Walk in peace. Oh, what's up, Liliana? There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? He's killed Faria, one of my best agents, and knows where the others are. Who? You know what must be done. Make it clean. Painless if you can. We were friends once. Whoa! Whoa! Encourage Leonica. How about I just wait until afterwards and then we can discuss? It will be done. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. Trust me. 
everything I do is to protect our interests. Now, if you're happy, I have more work to do. Uh, no, no, I, I want to talk. Oh my God, she's pushing me out of the way. I want to talk to you about that work. What was that? What was that about? Reports of fade rifts and demons keep coming. The people are terrified, and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them. Your legend will spread, and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. Hmm. Why do you care about mages? Why do you want me to seek out the rebel mages? Why do you care? I've known mages. Some of them were better people than me. And yet I'm free and they're not. It's not right. Okay, let's delve. You're just in his left hand. Any updates? Hey, let's ask about the updates. Like, what just happened 30 seconds ago? Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. Except for what just happened? Oh, dear. All right. Uh, you're well connected. You seem to know a great many people. I have made friends, and on occasion enemies. It's unavoidable. <laughs> to the point, huh? Okay. Hmm. Did you know Hawk? They say you spent some time in Lothering. Did you know the champion? We spoke a few times. I seldom left the Chantry, and we never became more than casual acquaintances. I saw more of the Hawk twins. Bethany in particular. She would spend time in meditation at the Chantry, and she seemed to like my stories. The other one, the young man, he was a little surly. I did encounter the champion again later in Kirkwall. Those were terrible times. Why were they terrible? Was this when the Chantry was destroyed? No, that happened later. But even then, the news coming out of Kirkwall was disheartening. There were some in Valrayo who wanted the Divine to declare an exalted march on Kirkwall. Justina sent me there to see if that could be avoided, to gather evidence to calm those agitating for war. I guess it didn't matter in the end. Hmm. We can continue this conversation later. You know where I am. Okay, well... Continue being yourself, I guess. Uh... Solus is over here. Alright, let's go grab him. Solus, anything of note to talk about? Hello. Uh, investigate. Tell me about the Fade, tell me about yourself. I know all those things. So no nothing new. Alright, goodbye. We'll talk later. Goodbye. He seems shocked. He seems shocked that I wanted to talk to him later. It's okay, buddy. I like you. I think you're cool. All we need now is what, Vivian? Vivian! Where are you? So, I noticed you crept back to the tent rather late last night. And if I did, I hope for your sake you weren't sniffing around after that iron bull. I simply wanted to thank him for having his healer give such good advice. We've saved some lives thanks to him. And that's why you're walking so funny. I thanked him a few times. <laughs> then later, he thanked me back. It was a very grateful night all around. Oh, you're terrible. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Ground Scraper's like, yeah, I love this game too. <laughs> You're a creep, Ground. Oh, she's inside. All right. Actually, is she around the corner? Are you around the corner? Uh oh, uh oh, there's a whole bunch of. Oh, my goodness. There are things. Double L fruit. Double loot loot. Nice. What is this? Pointed. Oh, I'll take a schematic. Sure. Probably won't use it, but hey. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, she's definitely inside. She's not in the main hall. She must be... Make her here. Oh, there she is. Vivian. You came from the circle at Ostwick, did you not? Senior Enchanter Lydia was a dear friend of mine. Were you at all acquainted? Hmm. Well, do I get to, like, create my own story here? I'm going to say I studied with her a bit. Uh, yeah. Yes, 
She was one of my instructors. You are lucky to have studied with her. Lydia had a wealth of knowledge. I understand she was killed by one of her own students when the Ostwick Circle rebelled. I think we both agree that this war must end. Hmm. Mages to be free. Templars made their beds. I'm gonna say the chaos harms everyone. The war benefits no one. It must end. And order must be restored. If only the rebels saw things so clearly. Justinia's death has shattered the balance of power in Thedas. If it is not restored quickly, countless lives will be lost. Mages, Templars, innocent people of all kinds now look to the Inquisition to decide their fate. Mm. And you'll help decide? Their fate is in their hands. Let's do this and you'll help decide? That's why you wanted to be here. To have a hand in deciding that fate. Wouldn't you? For almost a thousand years, the world believed it was in the hands of the Maker. And now many believe you are the agent of his will. Whatever the truth is, that belief gives you power. Mm, no one should have that power. Andraste chose me. I'll use it to change things. Mm. I feel like this is the right answer, but I'm starting to get this vibe from her that she's one of those do whatever it takes at any cost to change things kind of people. And, uh, I'll use it to change things. If that's true, then I'll put it to good use. I suppose we'll see. I've stolen enough of your time, my dear. Don't let me keep you. Why would you disapprove of that? Ugh, I don't understand you at all, lady. All right, that's fine. She already, she already shot me down once. Don't think I Thank you can get in her good graces yet again. Um... Go talk to Josephine. Josephine! Apothecary Adon wanted to know when you might be able to provide the materials he needs. I asked Adon not to rush us. Demon essence is dangerous. Oh, do I have any of that? Sorry. Speaking of which... No, it's fine. Just tell All him right. we'll have it for him as soon as we can. Josephine, my dear. Greetings. Hmm, anything to report? What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Okay, how are our guests? Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? Sir Griffith of Denerim, a most distinguished knight of the realm. He's defeated dark spawns, slain demons, chased down abominations. Just don't ask him about it over dinner. Huh. He spares no detail. Interesting. Okay, well, good to know. All right, to the wall room! The righteous, the lights in the shadow. Okay, so Ooh, even though I don't have perks I want to ch check and see what I do Have for all my bonus things Oh, there's my Hesarian Nice Oh, look at all that reduction in time That's great Secrets Awesome I need perks though I need to like actually get perks Wow, look at all that. Yeah. And then just normal Inquisition. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I need, to, I need to look into getting perks. I have more power than one man should have. Some might say it's unlimited power. The Emperor would. Champions of the Just. Choosing the Templars. All right, well, I don't want to choose the Templars, so I have no reason to do any of that. So we'll go back. Completed, completed, completed. I can gather coin again. We don't need to do that yet. Red Jenny. Inquisition needs bees. <laughs> She's so crazy. All right. I do not know how someone could come to this idea, but I can see the use. It is a large area to search, however. A memo from Josephine written on a note from Sarah. Know what ruins a party? Bees. I know a man who teaches how to jar them safely, but angry. Stingy, no good for honey, but great for throwing. He's somewhere south. Great. Also, also a butt. Bees on a butt. Okay, so who's going to be my fastest here? It's too large area to cover. Bounty hunters are simpler. Yeah, all right, sure. Done. All right. Back. Nice. 
nice. Okay. Uh, let's go back again. What's going on in Orlay? So that's the shards area, and that's probably more quests. Huh. The shards acquired by the Herald of Andraste are unlike anything I've encountered. Okay, yeah, no, we've read this before, I think. Hmm. So do we, I mean, all right, connections. Yeah, let's do that. Uh-oh, I forgot these are instant complete. Investigate the shards. Sister Liliana. With thanks to our lady ambassador, I was able to study the scroll. The reference is vague, but it implies a connection to a temple, possibly elven. I followed the lead and believe one such temple stands in an oasis in the western approach. As to what may lie within, I cannot say. Reports of the place are cut off or have pages missing. I have yet to find a reliable first-hand account. Perhaps our soldiers can provide a better one. All right, new area unlocked. Uh, not now. Nice, okay. In the meantime, I have a ton more things. More more Red Jenny. Truth or Dare, the Imperial Court. Choose a successor. Chanchi remains. Um, let's do Truth or Dare, the Imperial Court. What's that? A letter addressed to Viviane lies opened on the table. Mm. Josephine, darling, you should take care of this V. <laughs> oh, Viviane. My dearest Vivian, you cannot have heard the shocking allegations against the Inquisition, or surely you would never have been seen with them. Allow me, as a friend, to open your eyes. People are saying that Divine Justinia is indeed alive, but that the Inquisition, her closest advisors and most trusted servants, have orchestrated all this chaos on her orders. That it was Seeker Pentagast and Sister Nightingale who sabotaged the Conclave. Oh, Lord. So deal with this. Okay. Save your reputation. Um. Oh well, Josephine's gonna rock this. All right. Boom. Let us begin. Back. Okay. Then. Uh. Let's investigate the strange chalk markings. Before I do anything, is this the quickest? Yeah. All right. Hmm. Do you know this sign? A triangle point down. Two wavy lines through it. A lookout spotted it in chalk on a ruined wall close to one of our outposts. A cursory inquiry into the symbol has revealed nothing. Archivists are still looking. Uh, Arjun thinks he she saw the symbol or something very like it scrawled in a ledger that belonged to the Comtesse de Bayard. A sweep was done as you ordered. Almost every outpost of ours has been marked in this manner. Many believe we are being watched. To what end, we do not know. Yeah, all right. Let's look into it. Hmm. Let's see what we have. Cool. Okay. Back. And back again. Okay. Great. Uh, I think now this means we have to head back to the Hinterlands and go see the mages, maybe? World map. To the hinterlands. Uh, God, there's so much to do here. There's so much to do in the hinterlands. Uh, cancel. Um, so I've been there. Hmm. Yeah. So there's stuff over there. I'm not sure I want to go that way though. If I recall, if I recall, over there is like a dragon. If I'm not mistaken, there's a dragon somewhere here. And that Fade Rift's level 12. Memories of the Grey. Bet I can get that. Spirit in the Lake. Ballad of Lord Woosley. Deep Trouble. Yeah, there's the Red Lyrium Mining. Hmm. Clars for Senna. Oh, that's right there. We can get that right away. All right, we're going to go back and just pound these things out. We got rifts that are too powerful, but we can go here. Uh, travel. We'll get all this stuff. Nice. Speaking of, of these things, by the way, they're fantastic. And I would love it if these existed in, like, poster form somewhere. Alright, we're gonna take Varric. Just so you guys can see the upgrades I made to this team. Then we'll, we'll start switching stuff out. Confirm. 
Well, if you like talking and backstory, this was the episode for you. If you don't, by the time you finish this one, another one is probably up. I had to split the episode that would have been one, which would have been about an hour and a half, into two, because uh, Adobe refused to render it. So that's some behind-the-scenes garbage for you. Enjoy. So you get two episodes instead of one. They're both pretty long, but hopefully that is what you enjoy, because there's a lot to do in this game.